Hey yo, I hope you've been doing good. I hope things have been alright, and I hope you've been productive. Getting straight into the video, it's like 6 in the morning and it's fucking still kind of dark. I'm gonna go through 5 Japanese techniques, which is a lot more simple than it sounds, but the last one, the fifth one, is by far the most important one, and without the fifth one, all the other four won't stick together. So stick to the end, because the fifth one's the most important. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. Now, the first of the list is Kaizen. Kaizen is basically, I actually learned it in business in A-level school, which was weird why they had it in there. But the idea of in making small choices, small changes to improve on the long term. So improving 1% every single day. The idea of the long term. So where maybe it's just going to the gym 30 minutes more every single day. Or maybe 30 minutes a week. But in 20 years time, you'll become the most shredders you'll ever be. The idea of making improvements 1% every single day. Second one, Ikigai. Ikigai is basically the idea of having a purpose. Now, this is a big one that a lot of us don't know. Not even I know just yet what my purpose is. But the way to finding out, there are four rules. That's three. There are four rules to Ikigai. One, do what you love. Two, do what you're good at. Three, do what the world needs. And four, do what you can be paid for. By focusing on all of these, you'll eventually find your purpose in on Ikigai, and you'll have financial freedom, time freedom, and location freedom. The third one is Wabi Sabi. Now, I actually bought a book, not for this video, I bought it like a year ago, and I read through it, and I absolutely loved it. It's a Japanese book, Wabi Sabi, by Emily something, I can't remember. But this book basically explain the history of Japan and the idea of wabi-sabi finding perfection in imperfection. We as humans, especially like maybe you're in my generation, which I don't know what that is, but like I'm getting up to my 20s now, so you're in your teens, you're getting up to 20. You focus on a lot, a lot of worries, especially about flaws, about your past self, your present self, and your future self. Whenever you have those days where you think back to like something that was an awkward moment like three years ago, yet it'll come to you at your dreams and haunt you for like, was it like an hour? You'll think, oh, why did I do that so many years ago? That's such an awkward thing that no one gives a shit about anymore. We focus too much on the flaws of our past self, present self, and future self. And actually finding perfection in imperfection can actually allow us to live a lot more freely. The fourth one is Shoshan, which is basically a beginner's mind sees lots of possibilities. An expert's mind sees only few. A lot of us give ourselves excuses for reasons to not do things or an opportunity that comes up and we're thinking, ah, it's fine. It'll happen. We'll, we'll get another option too. But an expert knows that opportunities do not come about often. And when you are given an opportunity, you have to take that step and seize it. For example, this is like the most random example, but I used to go like river jumping with my old group of friends and I loved it during the summer. And there was one time I was on the top, the most scared I've ever been, the height was terrifying and I didn't do it. I thought to myself, it's fine, I'll have another opportunity and I didn't. That friend group disbanded and I've never been there since. The fifth one, the last one, and by far the most important, and I'm gonna just readjust myself on my skateboard seat on a 45 degree angle ledge. The fifth one, the most important one, Shirin Yoku. This Shirin, it broken down, Shirin means forest and Yoku means bath. We do not spend enough time in nature. So what I want you to do for the next two weeks, including all of this other stuff that I've just told you, the most important one, spend at least 30 minutes a day in nature. Just being mindful in nature. 30 minutes a day, that is nothing. You've got 12 hours in a day. That is absolutely nothing. 30 minutes a day in nature, that is it. But the difference this will make is immeasurable on your energy, your happiness in life. 
Like it, it is that much of a difference because none of us um, have enough mindful time in nature. If you're not subscribed, you may never see this channel ever again. But if you do, then you'll probably see a lot more content like this. And if this video helped you out, click on the one on the corner because this could most definitely change your life as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.